Hello, student. And engineering mechanics uh, topic friction. Before we uh, going to start the chapter friction, and previous class we have already uh, discussed about the different type of force and their application, how to uh, regulations of force, and many more. Now here we can discuss about the frictions. What is frictions? In our school level, we have already know about the little bit about the uh, about the term in frictions. Now here we can discuss about the frictions in broadly. Now what is frictions? What is frictions? The frictions, the frictions force between the two surfaces are sliding or try to uh, sliding across one another means the force acting in the opposite directions force acting in the opposite directions to the motion of the body is called the friction or simply friction here body if body move these directions the frictional force is work in opposite directions of the moving body means the it is a force acting opposite directions to the motions of the body is called the friction now there is a different kind of different type of the friction one is static frictions another is dynamic frictions what is uh, type of frictions one is static frictions static frictions means body is static means in terms of statics the experience by the body when body is raised here in body is raised positions if body is raised positions is called the static frictions the friction act upon the object that are not moving means static this is the static frictions one is dynamic frictions dynamic means is related to motion means friction experienced by the body when the motion is called the dynamic frictions is also called the kinematic frictions. In kinematic or dynamic frictions, there are two types. One is sliding frictions, another is so one is sliding frictions, another is the rolling frictions. Now, what is sliding frictions? Here we can see that image. The here is sliding from this direction, but frictional force act upon this these directions. Then the occurs the sliding frictions occurs when two sliding surfaces, when two uh, two solid surfaces sliding over the each other means the frictional force experienced by the body while sliding over another body is known as the sliding frictions now what is uh, now what is the uh, rolling frictions the rolling frictions here when a body when an object or a body rolled across a surface this like it's rolled over this like that is called the rolling friction means frictions experienced by the body when the body ball or rollers are interposed between the two surfaces is known as, between the two surfaces are known as the rolling frictions rolling frictions understands now the law now the law of the friction what are the law of the frictions there are a many laws of frictions first of all when body is moving when body is moving the friction null the friction is directly proportional to the normal force and the frictional force direction is perpendicular to that normal force means the frictional force always act upon the direction of the objects and to that the body tend to move means when body is moving the friction is directly proportional to the normal force and the frictional force direction to the perpendicular to the normal is perpendicular to the normal force this is the first point next point friction does not depend upon the area of the contact means it's it is does not it is the independent of the area of the contact between the two surfaces. The, the force of frictions is independent of the 
and independent of the contact surface means it does not depend on the surface of the body means the body is sliding over these directions this is the surface thus the surface does not the matter how much frictions will depend how much frictions will produce in this one the body is sliding from this direction to this direction next the coefficient of static friction is slightly higher than the value of the coefficient of kinematic frictions kinematic frictions the coefficient of static frictions static means when body is static body does not move from body or static positions is slightly higher than the body when kind of when body is moving kinematic friction is when body is moving then coefficient of kinematic frictions is slightly higher then the value of the coefficient of the kinematic frictions if body means when body is sliding then friction is when body is sliding when body is sliding the friction is less as compared to when body is static the coefficient of the static frictions then is slightly higher value than the coefficient of kinematic frictions the kinematic frictions is independent of the velocity of the body kinematic frictions is independent it does not depend on the velocity of the body how much velocity body gains is does not depend on the uh, does not depend on the velocity of the body how much velocity gain of the body this is the velocity of the body next i have already reverse and another's here revise once again now frictions what is frictions the frictions force uh, the force acting the opposite directions of the motion of the body is called the frictions force this like body move from this direction to this direction the friction force act upon here this body is moved from this direction the friction force upon uh, act on this, this direction then the, what is type of frictions one is static friction another is the dynamic frictions dynamic frictions is the two types one is one is and uh, one is sliding frictions means body when body is sliding from to solid surfaces this is the sliding surface and sliding frictions and there is the rolling frictions when object is roll across the surfaces is called the rolling frictions next law of frictions what is law of frictions first of all when body is moving the friction is directly proportional to the normal force and the frictional force directs to the perpendicular to the normal force next the friction does not depend on the area of the contact as long as their area of the contact then that means magnitude of the force force exactly equal to the force and tend to body move the next the kinematic then the coefficient of static frictions is slightly higher than the value of the coefficient of kinematic frictions the kinematic is independent of the velocity of the body how much velocity gain will body gain when the kinematic frictions of the body does not depend on the frictions it is the this is the law of the static frictions next uh, next we will we will discuss about the coefficient of frictions and angle of repose and many others thank you